What's up, Carpenters? Uh, Savvy Crap! Creative Thoughts TIG Welding Series. In today's episode, I'm going to build a mild steel 5 foot bed. I own a couple of small condos and I rent apartments. This is my main activity. The bed that I'm going to build is for one of my apartments. Before jumping to it, I really hope that you are enjoying my videos. Critiques are always welcome, cause I can learn and do better. Indeed, if there is something that uh, you don't like, you won't point at, something that I'm doing wrong, you are welcome. Please comment down below, I will reply shortly after. In the meantime, please thumbs up subscribe and ring the bell for future videos notification and now with that being said let's to build some and uh, let's to have fun with okay my fellow carpenters i'm building a five foot bed with mild steel rectangular shape profiles seven times four centimeter steel made with the hot roll process therefore very dirty profiles and as you know tig weld doesn't like dirtiness graziness at all I begin the project by cleaning my steel with a nylon disc and a grinder. Now that I'm done with the nylon disc, I'm going through cleaning my steel profiles with the acetone. However, I'm not done yet with the cleaning process. This is just the first step. As already told, TIG Weld doesn't like dirty, grey steel at all, and I'm really meticulous about that. Now that the main dirty grey layer is removed, I'm ready for cuts. I will go then through refining the cleaning process once all the pieces will be cut and ready with a sand disc, grinder and one more time acetone. Here I wrote down my bed project with all the measurements needed. I'm building with the rectangular shape profiles 7 times 4 cm 1.8 mm thick and uh, the following measurements are for a 5 foot mattress. The idea is uh, really simple, nothing fancy or complicated. Frame number 1 is the legs on the pillow side and uh, is made with uh, the following measurements. 57 cm tall and 160 cm wide. Frame number 2 is the legs from the foot side with the following measurements. 37 cm tall and 160 cm wide. Frame number 1, the pillow side and frame number 2 the foot side joined together with the two profiles two meters long. The two frames, number one uh, pillow, number two foot, obviously join with uh, 90 degrees uh, corners, so I'm going for 45 degrees cuts. For the rest I'm going with uh, 90 degrees cuts.
now that uh, all the pieces uh, are finally cut, I refine uh, the cleaning process with the uh, 80 grid sand disc and uh, acetone once more. It's uh, welding time, so I begin the assembling steps with the first frame, pillow side, to keep the pieces together I'm using magnets. I'm welding with a WP17 torch with a 2.4 mm toriated red color electrode, stubby gas lens, glass cap and an argon flow of 5 liter per minute. Roads used are ER70S6 with a diameter of 2 mm, my welding current around 50 ampere. The GoPro camera that you are seeing framing my welding action cause I'm testing lenses and solutions to shoot close up welding videos. I'm in a learning process and if you want to know more about above my head a web link to related videos playlist. I'm not a professional welder and I'm still learning the correct technique to deal with the steel pulling and shrinking while heat up by the torch flame. So let's check if everything is in order and it is. I end up with the perfect 90 degrees corners. As you can see sketched in my draw, I'm completing the first frame, pillow side legs, heading a reinforcement. Exactly as I did with the first frame, I'm assembling now the second frame, legs feet side, helping myself with magnets.
the bed legs are assembled and uh, welded. I proceed now by cleaning my beads with a 100 grid sand disc. To me, see two pieces of steel become one with a seamless join is so rewarding. It is an incredible accomplishment feeling. I am ready for the final assembling, join together the legs and I am helping myself with the 90 degrees corner clamps. Let me check if everything is in order and it is, ok, and let's weld all together. I'm cleaning the welding beads with 100 grid sand disc and here I am, I'm done. The main bed structure is welded and assembled. In my sketch, let's pretend to see the bed from a top view. I'm going to add four inserts like that to provide reinforcement to the whole structure and, most important, a base for a playhood sheet support for the 5-foot mattress. I'm almost done. I'm cutting this one centimeter thick play hood sheet support for the five foot mattress. The mattress support must be two meter long and one meter and a half wide. Let's give a clean with the acetone. As already told, the bed is made with the hot rolled mild steel, therefore a kind of steel that is going to rust. So I end up the project by painting my bed with an enamel anti-rust and corrosion based paint. This uh, first project of my Creative Toads series, uh, TIG Weld, many more are coming on the future, is done. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you soon in the next video.